Hi, this is Coach John here from Learning Out of the Box. And this is a video especially to be uh, done for our LB kids. And some children texted me that they wanted to know the solution even though PSIE is already over. Okay, so here goes. Okay. Okay, so um, okay, right now, um, a disclaimer. Um, three kids running around me. Uh, two of them very noisy. Yeah, so I'm trying my best to stay focused. Um, don't judge me. I'm doing this video for our OB kids. Uh, even though they have left us, and I hope that this video also can help our P5s as well as other P5s who have heard from other parents and children or seen on our social media that this year's PSIE is tough. Um, I think what I want to do is to is not to discuss here whether it is tough or not tough. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, if your child sees it's as tough, it's, it will be tough. If your child sees it's as easy, it will be easy. Yeah, but I think the purpose of this video is really to help children to have a healthy um, perspective towards learning maths as well as a, an alternative approach to solving maths questions rather than just seeing them as either tough or easy. Okay, so here goes. Okay, so figure one shows four identical rectangles. Okay, so I'm going to draw it. I'm going to draw it. Okay, so one rectangle. Okay, I try to draw it again so that I can uh, be in the question. And then we have a square. Okay, be a square. Okay, so then this is figure. Oops. Okay, figure one. Okay, then figure two is uh, when all this combine to form a another figure. Okay, I'll try my best to draw. Okay, one. Okay. Okay, so the other shapes will be like that. Can okay. yeah. Today's not my best day. Yeah. With three kids at home. It's really tough. But the children texted me, so just get it out. Okay. Okay, not not the best drawing. Okay, not the best drawing. Okay, something like that, Ken. Okay. Okay, then we have. Okay, let me just draw the green box again because the green box is missing. Okay, so now this is figure two. Okay, so these are two figures for the question and then we'll see what can we do. And the parameter here is actually 56 cm. Okay, and the parameter here is actually 144 cm. Hmm, that's all that they give. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Um, having taught kids and also being a social worker myself, we have worked with thousands of children. I think we really need to bring the maths level to the kids rather than expect the children to come up to our level and understand and see what we see. Yeah, so so let's take a look at this 56 cm, which is a smaller num number, and let's, under let's really understand what it really means. This, oh, okay, this actually means that we have 
it's a blue it's a blue line okay it's a blue line okay so right now i'm processing with you uh, and i don't like to just jump in and try to solve it and then tell you to take my answer as the final answer yeah i like to process it with you so that so that uh, you learn something from it and even i even encourage you to improve my method and i think this is how we learn right okay so it's actually the blue box rather than um being confused with what's inside okay okay well how it's being drawn in the inside is to tell you that hey actually well what you see here is actually made out of what you see here is actually made out of what you see here can okay okay so so now what's next Okay, one of the common questions that I've taught children um, is, do you remember such questions like this? And they are talking about identical rectangles forming this. Okay, not very nice. Okay. And the easiest way to do it for me is to form everything as one unit. Okay. So this one U. So again, this is our like by default technique. So this is three units because it's one, two, three. Okay, so this is a three U. So I think the closest one that I can relate is to this one. Okay, so so let's see whether how we can make use of what we have learned in the previous questions onto this. And how I can do is okay, let's look at this this zone. Okay, look at this zone. Okay, this zone. And let's call it as uh, maybe one U. Yeah, does it matter? Does it matter, right? Just call it one U. So at least we have some form of uh, labeling for all the parts already. Yeah, and let's see how we can relate this to this part. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. And then maybe let's call this part as, should we call it one part? Okay, one part one part one part and one part okay so let's call it a b um c d okay let's call it a b c d and 36 cm is actually made out of of can I call it as um we have a mixture of okay one two three four as well as a b c d can and you realize that it so happened that this one group here is actually 56 cm okay because it's from here so does that mean that the other group the other group here is also 56 cm as well yes it is okay 56 cm okay so okay another thing that we have taught the lb kids is to label what you want to find with the question mark and they want to find the length right so which is actually this part question mark and in fact we have four question marks so can you see that this one two three add up to one four four cm and we have already found this two which is 56 times 2. 
So all we need to do is to take 144 minus of 256. Okay? So the parameter of the square is to take 144 minus of 56 twice. And okay, let me just get my calculator out. In the meantime, you can also do it for me. And let's see if we get the same answer. Okay, and that is 32 cm. Okay, thank goodness my youngest didn't scream. Whew. I hope it stays that way. Okay, so one, so this is actually four sides, correct? Four sides. So one side, which is what they want, is actually 32 divided by 4, which is actually 8 cm. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, so how I see this is, in fact, trying to use back what we have learned uh, during our normal revision. And in fact, what I've shared is nothing new is something that P3, 4 kids will have seen it inside their, their worksheet. Okay. Um, probably for P3, 4, this will be something easier. So one, one um, rectangle with the other two at the, at the, along the length. And then the same technique is to name this as one U. And then they will give you the total parameter. Okay, and you notice that this kind of questions is actually a relative or a cousin to what you see here. Um, just that it's a bit more complicated. Yep, but the method to solve is the same. Yeah, so so as parents, as a busy parent who who still choose to teach our children maths at home, um. And something that I want to share here is that we do not want the child to see a new question as a new question. There's always something that your child can relate to that he can actually leverage on and reuse the learning or the solving method. So in this case, what we have used is actually this one. Yeah. So we make use of the size or the breadth. So in this case, the starting point for this small question is the breath. Likewise here, we start off with the breath as well. And because there are only two numbers, we have to find some sort of bridge between these two. Yeah, if not, you can't make use of that. Okay. And in fact, this is the breath, the breath that we got to use. Then other than that, we have to Make use of the length, okay, the length which is over here, okay, four length. Then you group that up, and this is fifty six. This is fifty six as well, and we only left four sides, or the parameter of a square. Then you just work from there, okay. So I think the breaking point or the tipping point will be this part. Yeah, without this part, I think it would be quite hard for the child to solve. Even for children who manage to solve it, I believe that, uh, again, I may, I may be wrong. Yeah, I believe that they have done this before and they know that, they know how to tackle it using what they remember. Okay, so I hope that helps and take care.